Thank you, Gloria Musimbi, for that report. And moving on, despite Kenya's population being termed as 60% Christian, a huge number of school-going pupils and students do not have the basic requirement that is the Bible. On a special report tonight on So Close Yet So Far, our reporter Maingi Mbugua traversed marginalized areas in the country to get a clear picture of the current situation. Take a look. Over 172 years are since when uh, the first missionary landed in the country. In 1844, a huge number of pupils and students in the country still have no access to the most precious item, the Bible. This has largely been as a result of the harsh economic times being faced by most Kenyans living in the marginalized areas in the country. In uh, this area, the level is extremely high. That, that even parents are meeting or maybe make meeting them in basic names. For their students, it's a uniform. It's a real uh, task. So when it comes to this additional uh, expenditure, then it becomes also an issue. So to them, it's possibly a luxury or maybe not a need. Priority is given to buying food. Other and other requirements that are needed in the school, uh, one being the Bible, uh, besides the other materials that are required for Learning. The lack of Bibles in schools has in a great way affected the students' performance in the Christian Religious Education CRE, as a huge number of these pupils do not have the Bible to aid in reference reading. Because of a lack of those uh, items like the Bible and the students' failure to interact with the Bible effectively, then the performance has gone wrong. Most of the learners lack the Bible and uh, it makes it difficult for the teacher uh, to teach with the only copy where uh, reference is needed, the learners are needed to read the Bible verses uh, as uh, teaching is in progress. According to data from the Ministry of Education, there are over 6 million school-going pupils and students in the country. A huge number of these ones are in the marginalized areas, which are faced by perennial drought, banditry and terror attacks, and hence the economic status of the areas is poor. It is for this reason that the Bible Society of Kenya, BSK, with the help of donor funding, has embarked on a mission to distribute Bibles and Bible materials to millions of school-going pupils and students. We have at least reached out to around 21 counties and again not really saturating the counties because again we will depend on a well-wisher, we will depend on a Kenyan will depend on a believer to give towards this project so that we can have uh, enough resources to be able to reach as many children as possible. According to the BSK Bible Distribution Project Coordinator Susan Diangoi, the number is still low compared to the national population. Through free Bible distribution, that is for the Good News and the Revised Standard Version, we have been able to reach to around 34,600 children in the country. That is, if you look at the population in the country, it's around 16 million. So we've been able to do a little, but at least we are somewhere. The exercise has also not been easy due to the social, environment and economic factors that hinder their undying quest to ensure that every pupil in the areas has at least a Bible. There have been uh, tough situations as well because some places in this country, it's so hard to access them. So sometimes you have to leave your vehicle, use a motorbike, go through forests, go through uh, rivers to be able to get these Bibles to the hands of the children. Other times you don't know how, whether it will be rainy and uh, probably your car gets stuck and you have to walk. All to ensure that Bibles are in the hands of amazing boys and girls. With efforts being made by BSK and other NGOs who are equipping pupils and students in the marginalized areas with Bibles, teachers remain hopeful that the performance of students in CRE and overall will improve. The word of God, for it to stick well with uh, these young people, then uh, one has to interact with the book. And uh, that is why I think uh, the Bible Society of Kenya found it wise to support the program. And uh, we hope they will actually get the word of God uh, uh, clearly. Many of the teachers are also hopeful that the students will be able to withstand the threat of the rising number of uh, religious cults, uh, sects and extremism that has adversely affected the country. The radicalization of our Kenyan or maybe young people may not even uh, go in well because the student or the learner that have understood the Bible well. 
and uh, the word of God one, or what God wants from them, simply through Bible, interacting with the Bible and the word of God. It is the little acts like these ones that have continued to give hope to millions of Kenyan children like these ones, with the hope of a better tomorrow, still casting a shadow on their lives. For Hope TV News Watch, from Makueni County, Kibwezi East, I'm Maingi